Hey everyone, we'll get started here in just a moment. Maybe you can give me a thumbs up if you uh, can hear me, just so I know that everything is working before I invite our guest in today. And then we'll get underway with our events and news for the week. Okay, welcome everybody to uh, this Thursday's edition of the Cochrane Coffee Chat. Today is August 13th, 2020, and uh, this is one of our biggest event weekends um, in months coming up. So um, before we get to all of that, we uh, do have a few notes just to go over um, for this week. So if you've been following along on Facebook or Instagram, you may have noticed that there is um, a couple items that are up for sale in the shop. And they are, um, there is a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a face mask, and a poster. And uh, all of those are 50% proceeds. Um, each of the sales go to Big Hill Haven. So um, get your uh, Keep Calm and Cochrane On swag right now, okay? It's for a really good cause. The pre-sale is on until August 22nd, and then we will put in a big batch order and everybody will be advised kind of when delivery or pickup will happen um, generally after that. So that shop is up on um, Urban Casual right now, and uh, you can find all of those things in the shop uh, until August 22nd second and um, then we'll see if we're going to continue on selling them or if uh, we'll just do the one pre-order but definitely get your order in by the 22nd so that you can have a piece of keep calm and cochran on swag all right also next week super exciting for cochran august 17th till the 23rd will be cochran's first pride week and um, there's lots of exciting events for that. Some of the events do have ticket requirements and they are sold out currently. Um, but if you go onto our website, all the information is on there and you can find out what's happening, starting with the flag raising at the Cochrane Ranch House at 6 p.m. on Monday. Also, what else do we got on the go? Photo of the week contest. So this week, um, it was actually really, really close. Uh, picture, one picture had 58 votes and one picture had 64 votes. And of course, the winner of this game is the one with the most votes. So for our winner of the photo of the week contest, now this was sponsored by Mezzo Cafe up in Fireside. They are providing a $50 gift certificate um, to their cafe and all their yummy treats. And uh, you uh, can pick up the gift certificate there. The winner this week is Sites, for, Sites of Alberta, and I believe her name is Amber Hall. Uh, she is the winner with, like I said, 64 votes. So congratulations. Great photo of the Canola Fields, uh, traditional Alberta foothills photo. So it was a great photo. And obviously, everybody really liked it too. Um, so congratulations to Sites of Alberta. And I will be in touch with you just after the broadcast here for um, to how you can get your prize. All right, now, if you want to enter that photo of the week contest, it's super simple. Over on Instagram, all you have to do is use the hashtag MyCochran. If you're submitting a photo on Facebook, send it to me by private message or tag me in the photo. That's the only way I'll really find it on Facebook. And uh, we can enter you into the photo of the week contest. We run that every week. And if you are a business in town who would like to be a sponsor, let us know and we will get that organized for you. All right, Cochrane. Now, let's see. Today, do I want to do the events first? I think I'm going to do the events first because my guest today, I want you to have um, I want you to have all their attention and listen to the great things that they have coming up and what they've got to say. So before we get to them, let's just do a quick rundown of the events. Like I said, it's a pretty big, heavy weekend for events in Cochrane. So I am going to share my screen here with you if you just give me a moment. Um, we are going to go back. Let's see, what screen are we going to look for? We want to go share this one. Mm. 
Pardon me. All right. So I'm going to bring up the calendar here because this is the easiest way to do it. We are on Thursday right here. So the Garden Roots Market is currently on until 6 p.m. Now, um, I was advised that the Garden Roots Market will be in a different location next week. You will actually be able to find them at the old... Um, well, you have to have lived in Cochrane long enough to know where this is. But the old IGA, so I believe it has a choo-choo pediatric dentistry in it and maybe um, a, 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 day, a day care center. Uh, but they will be in that parking lot, and I will provide more details for that as I um, hear about them. So that is on to a day until 6 at the Cochrane Alliance. This pink porcupine pop-up Cochrane, it's on all weekend again until Sunday. It is in historic downtown and you'll definitely wanna hit our website up first before you pop out to that event. Also tonight, we have the Motor Nights Drive-In Movie Night back in town for some more shows. They actually started up last night and uh, they will run um, multiple shows throughout the weekend with three shows on Saturday and three shows on Sunday. You do need a ticket in advance for this, so you're going to have to go to the website and pull up the link for that. And tonight they are showing Spider-Man at 6 p.m. with Big Fish um, at 9.30 now, heading into tomorrow, we've got some markets starting up again. Uh, Glenn's Fruit and Veggie Stand, he'll be at the Rexall parking lot from 7 until 6. The Pink Pork Pine uh, Pop-Up Cochrane will also be on from 11 a.m. until 6. The Motor Nights Drive-In Movie gets started up at 3 tomorrow with E.T. in at 3. 6 o'clock, they have Back to the Future and at 9.30, Sleepless in Seattle. And on Saturday, we have Glenn's Fruit and Veggie Stand. They will be back over at Rexall from 7 until 3. Now, be advised, if he runs out of stock, he will uh, pack up and go home. So it's better to hit him earlier in the day if you want to uh, grab your stuff. And the Cochrane Farmer's Market is also on again this Saturday from 9 until 2 at the Spray Lakes uh, Sawmill Family Rec Center. Cruise for her, uh, a fundraiser for Big Hill Haven, is starting up at 10 a.m. and heads on until 6. That should be a really great event. All the details are on our website and if you would like to participate. The August virtual market is back. Now, this is a market that is all online, so you can shop from the comfort of your home. It is a two-day event and is on till Sunday at 3. Uh, 10 a.m. until 2, we have the mini pop-up indoor market back for another week. It took a little bit of a hiatus last weekend, but it is back with some great vendors again this week. And also, if you head over, if you're looking for a business swag or your sweatshirts, hats, that type of thing, uh, the lady that we're working with on the t-shirts and sweatshirts for the Keep Calm and Cochrane On uh, fundraiser for Big Hill Haven, she is having an overstock tent sale. Now, Shannon Designs and Embroidery is located on Charlesworth Avenue, just um, across from Save On Foods there. So a great time to check out if you'd like to get um, business swag, things like that um, for, for your employees. That pink pop porcupine pop-up market is on again on Saturday, and we've got a couple more drive-throughs, Jumanji, Mean Girls, and Tommy Boy um, popping in there at six. If you head over to the venue, the Kiwanis Chase the Aces on for another week of um, their fundraiser from six until 8 p.m. If you buy a ticket, they will do a draw at 8 p.m., but you do need to be at the establishment in order to win the prize. One more day of the weekend. I told you it was a big weekend. It, nothing has been this long in months, but we have that virtual market on the go all day. So hit that up online. The Overstock Tent Sale is also on again. She added another day on me and I just caught it. So it's on again, 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. if you miss it on Saturday. The Bears Paw Lions Farmer's Market is on from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. just at the uh, Calgary limits there. The Pink Porcupine Pop-Up is also back. And three more drive-in drive movies um, are back as well. Now, those uh, drive-ins also have some really great food trucks. So uh, definitely check them out online. Sunday, they have um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Step Brothers, and they're finishing it off with Ghostbusters. So that is the website. And um, that's the calendar. It's there all the time for you to uh, use. And uh, please go use it. It's loaded up with events and all the information that you need to enjoy where you live a whole lot more. Okay. Now,
those guests. We've got uh, Julia from Vexia Travel and Kaylee from Quirk Social. Uh, these two ladies have an event coming up September 24th to 26th. It is called The Retreat, and I'm just going to bring them both in to the conversation here so they can tell you about um, their event all themselves. Just give me a second here while we grab them in, and we'll get Kaylee in here first. Hi. And here is Julia. Hey, ladies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for having us on, Sam. Do we have sound on or do I have to fix you here? Can you hear us? You mic. I can hear both of you. <laughs> I hear you too. Okay. Are you ladies there? Yeah. You can't hear us. I can't seem to hear you. Weird. Oh. Um what can we, I don't know what to do. Can you Pardon hear me? me, everyone. I, I'm having some difficulties here. I can't hear the ladies, even though I can see you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's odd that we can hear you. Yeah, yeah and that you and I can hear each other. I'm trying to um, mm. see if there's anything that I can put on here. Well, that's strange. Sorry, Sam. We're talking to each other. <laughs> oh. Pardon me, everyone. I'm just going to remove them again here and uh, see if that helps. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's try this again. I apologize, everyone. Um, I'm not really sure why. Yay, okay, here, I'm gonna bring them back in and hopefully I will be able to hear them this time. Hello. Uh oh. Hi. Oh, that doesn't look us? good. Doesn't look like it. It doesn't. <laughs> I wonder if anybody else watching like can hear yeah. us. Oh. Oh. That was a different sound. <laughs> Any luck, Sam? <laughs> no. Is anybody? If I think there's. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Brutal. Okay. Oh. Well, um, you ladies can hear me? Yes. Shake yeah. your heads. Yay. <laughs> All right. So uh, we will just get started and <laughs> welcome to the show, ladies. I don't want to give feedback here, so I'm going to um, get you started and then I will sort out my problem while I get you going on your topic. Uh, all right. So first things first, maybe I can get one of you to tell us more about the retreat and I'll try to fix my technical difficulties while you're uh, getting on with that, okay? Um, I, Julia, uh, Kaylee, I'll let you guys fight over that. <laughs> Tell yours, Kaylee. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, great. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. Um, so the women's retreat, or sorry, the retreat is a women's retreat held at the Ursa Retreat Center, September 24th to 27th. Um, we have packages available for both um, professional development as well as personal development. So uh, women can come for the whole weekend, um, focus on their business and themselves if they, they own a business, or they can come out just for the personal side of the weekend. Um, and it's an opportunity to really take the time for yourself to intentionally focus on your business, um, on intentionally focus on yourself and creating connections with other women in similar walks of life. That's kind of the, the <laughs> part of it. <laughs> yeah. Still Do you want to add anything, Julia? Because I don't think Sam has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, did you mention that there's a one night just for, for the professional as well in case they can't make the whole? Did you mention? No, that? I don't. I didn't say that part. Either. Okay. Yeah. So there's also a one night for the professional package as well. So you get um, professional headshots and then a full day of um, sessions plus one overnight with all your meals as well and then if you just can't do the overnights there's also day rates available too for both the personal and the professional days 
Yeah. It sounds like you can hear us now, or it looks like you can hear us. <laughs> I'm actually flipping back and forth between uh, my laptop and uh, my mic here. So I'm just making sure I got everything turned on. Okay, so the, the concept is women business and uh, getting to know each other a little bit, doing some networking, uh, some self care and pampering and also some learning. So that sounds a bit fun. Now you said that there was two different packages. Um, maybe you can just explain the agenda a little bit more clearly, but I'll also bring up your website here so people can kind of have a look at what the day looks like. Okay. Sure. Um, I'll just go, I'll, say, I'll talk about the professional maybe, and you can talk about the personal. Sure. Does that sound good? Yeah, sure. So um, like Julia said, the professional package, there's a few different options. You can come out Thursday night. Um, that's the night it starts. And so there'll be networking opportunities um, as well as headshots. So we have mini makeovers um, being done by Beauty Mark makeovers. And then um, Sam from Naturally Illustrated Photography is coming up to take some pretty awesome shots. Um, so with that, she will be connecting with everybody um, who's booked in for it ahead of time to to get a feel for your brand and for for you to see what you what you want to get from those headshots um, and so then again there'll be the opportunity for networking that evening with with other women in business obviously um, and then on this Friday is the full day of the the business development so we are we start the day with Ellen um, and she she is doing um, talking about pricing your services and then um, we ha or sorry we're starting with Kelly we swapped that. Kelly and Kelly's going to um, be talking about branding. So um, the way she's setting the session up is that it doesn't matter where you're at with your business journey. There's always an opportunity to uh, to look at your branding and, and, and your how you're communicating with your potential clients. Um, and so Kelly is local and she and she does a lot of work with entrepreneurs and local business owners here in town as well um, to, to put that emphasis on growing your business through your branding. Um, and then in the afternoon, we have um, our keynote speaker with um, The Art of Strategy with Alison Geskin. And um, she is incredible. <laughs> she mm -hmm. is just a, a spitfire, like just, just full of passion. And she has done incredible things um, for businesses throughout the years. So she's going to tailor our session specifically on our um, attendees' pain points in their businesses. So where where you're struggling and where you're you're um better like not better at but the, the proper word <laughs> and she's going to, it's going to be a hands-on session that she's going to that she's going to be tailoring specifically to the people that are in attendance at our event and then in the evening again another opportunity for networking because that night is when um, all the people for the personal package will be coming out and that's on, on to Julia. <laughs> <laughs> and so then on the Saturday, um, this starts the personal side of it. So we have um, Sheena with Blist, who will be there talking about inflammation and just like how important your gut health is to be able to be a successful, functioning, happy human being. Um, and one thing she touched on last night on our on the live video that we did was just that... Um, for those that are going from the professional to the personal day, you're spending so much time in your mind on those on the first first day um, that this will be good to get you focused more inwards. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for her, and she's uh, got a few treats that she's going to be bringing as well to share, which will be nice. Um, and then after her, we have Leah with the Skin Shop, um, who's also doing a pop up here tonight too, just to put a little plug for her. Um, <laughs> and she she's going to be talking all all things skin. Um, and she, she and but she's not just about the superficial side of skin, but also just like about d diving deep into ensuring that you're taking care of your body in a way that's going to help you take care of your skin. Um, and just like she touched again last night about just. If you have issues with skin, it usually affects your entire way of you, you do life. So it'll be it'll be really neat to see what she's got. I think she also has some treats. And then our keynote for the profession, or for, I keep doing that. So the personal day is Stacy Foley, um, and again, she's a different type of powerhouse. Um, but she 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 drives it home on how important it is to take care of yourself and uh, self-love and self-care, but not in like the superficial bubble bath way, but 
she's going to really dive deep and I'm pretty sure we're going to have a whole whack of Kleenex boxes around for that one because it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be good and then that day wraps up with um again like just super low-key relaxed um and then we also have Amy from Moonstone Cree or Moonstone Creations depending on where you're looking for her and she's going to be walking us through a little bit of the Cree uh, First Nations Indigenous history, and then also teaching us how to make a traditional dream catcher made out of a willow branch. Uh, so we're really looking forward to learning from her and, and then having a keepsake to take home from that day as well. And then Sunday morning, we wrap it up with yoga and then, um, and that'll be with Marnie with Elevate and Blist as well. And, uh, and, and then we're still working out the details of the official wrap up, but it will be, it will be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, well, it definitely sounds like a great day. I'm just looking at the agenda here. I did watch your little live video last night, and I totally agree with you that the dream catcher was right. not what I expected at all, including right where she said, and you know, people have it hanging from their, their rear view mirror, yeah. and that's not really where it should be at all. I, I got a, quite a yeah. chuckle out of that, but it was great to hear just some, I, I wasn't expecting that kind of story yeah. about it. Um, so it looks like a great weekend. Now, last night, you guys announced a little bit of a promotion. Um, I'll let you explain that for yourselves. Um, maybe Kaylee, you can take that one. Sure. Um, yeah, we announced a promotion last night. We're running a promotion starting today until August 21st. Um, that when you register with a friend or a family member, um, when two of you sign up together, you each save $200 off of the package price. So it's, um, it, it makes it a really good price for what you're getting for the weekend. Really it encourages people to come together. And especially with, obviously with all the COVID measures in place, if you have somebody that you have, um, what's the proper word, uh, cohorted with, mm -hmm. uh, it would be a perfect opportunity to come together because the rooms are shared, but you, you do have your own space, but they are, they are shared. Um, so having that you you have spent spending time with and saving money at the same time is I think it's a win-win all around. So <laughs> yeah. how many uh how many rooms do you guys still have available? Is there lots of rooms for everybody or will some people need to go home? Julia? Right now we still have some space um, to be able to stay over. Um, we're about half full. Um, so we do have some space left. Um, but then there will be, as long as, yeah, there will be lots available too for people that are wanting to just do the day if that would, is what they'd prefer. Okay, so that's that's good to know. So some people can come and hang out the whole weekend or if some people have to come home and maybe look after kids at night, they have the opportunity to still do that. So there's definitely some great options, especially if you can only make it out for the day. Um, so yeah, that's September 24th to the 26th and I will just pop up their website here again. Let's see, the agenda is right there at avexia.com um, forward slash the retreat. You can find out more about their weekend out um, at the retreat, September 24th to 26th. So get your tickets now and bring a friend to save $200. Uh, thank you ladies for joining me. Um, I was going to keep you around so that you could participate in the draw for the first responder, but you can't, I can't hear you. So. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I am going to say goodbye. Bye, I see you now and I'll finish off the broadcast, but thank you for joining me and bearing with my technical difficulties. Maybe one day I can get through this without <laughs> any issues. Um, so thank you ladies. Bye, I will there. see you, you uh, around town and hopefully at your event if I can make it. Yes. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Cochrane, these aren't perfect. I'm not perfect. And uh, we just get this job done. So I'm really, I apologize for everyone who is watching uh, who <laughs> just oh, have to bear with us once in a while. I, I just want to uh, take a, a moment, though, 
to draw for a winner. Um, last week on the coffee chat, I announced that Saddle Peaks Trail Rides had reached out to me and they were interested in hooking up a local area first responder with a fun day out. So we uh, had people of Cochrane have voted and nominated someone that they um, thinks deserves a one hour trail ride for two uh, to enjoy a day off um, at Saddle Peaks Trail Rides. And um, there was nine nominations. Some of them were husband and wives. Some of them were firefighters. Uh, they all had, everybody had a really, really, really great reason for why they wanted to nominate someone for this excursion. And we've got their names right here. And the winner of the Saddle Peaks One Hour Trail Ride for Two is Shay Partridge. And she was nominated by Carrie Refuse. So I will get in touch with one of you um, after this broadcast and let you know about how you can claim your one hour trail ride for two with Saddle Peaks Trail Rides. I uh, didn't bring up the photo at the time when I announced the photo of the week winner. So I will just share that one right now for everybody um, to take a look. This was this was the winning photo and I will make it a little bit bigger here. Uh, sites of Alberta, great photo. Something that we're all very used to seeing this time of year, the foothills, the mountains, and of course that canola field. So great photo. Um, happy that you are all entering. Thank you so much. That is um, a great contest. I love seeing how you love where you live, Cochrane. All you need to do to get in on that each week is to use the hashtag MyCochrane tag us in your Facebook photo or send it to us in a message and we will get you into the contest. Thank you to the Mezzo Cafe for providing the $50 gift certificate. And if you haven't checked out our shop and our uh, Keep Calm and Cochrane on Swag, this is the poster here. Um, if you haven't checked that out in our shop just yet, uh, you have until August 22nd to get your order in. Now all the orders are pre-sales. So once that date happens, I will do a big massive order and I will reach out to everybody to let you know um, when you can pick it up or deliver. Now I will be arranging a location in Cochrane to pick them up. Um, I am a home-based business, so please don't show up at my house, um, but I will let everybody know where you can pick up uh, your Keep Calm and Cochrane on swag as soon as it comes in. All right, Cochrane, that is, um, I believe that is all the news for this week. Next week, Check out uh, Cochrane's first Pride Week. Everybody is welcome to attend those events. I encourage you to get out and show your support for that community in Cochrane. And that is on from the 17th until the 23rd. I will be live streaming the flag ceremony, uh, flag raising ceremony for anybody who would like to watch at 6 p.m. on Monday. And uh, that's it for this week, Cochrane. I will be back next week. Um, with another edition of the Cochrane Coffee Chat. Bye.